Aaron, how, how did you describe Jamaica Bay? A used horse. Oh, so true. But look at look at this. This is the promised land. That, that water looks so clean. Or in, in other words, for that. Versus Jamaica Bay, and we're talking about New Jersey. We're talking about clean Jersey water. You know, you know, we live in a sad place. Right. Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. Having New Jersey clean and pristine. Why can't we have a, a place like this? Why do we have to live in janky Brooklyn? Look at this. All these boats are clean and nice. They're not burnt out and missing things. You can see the bottom of the water. That's right, folks. The crew, Ansel, Mike, Aaron, myself, uh, Mike's brother, Pat, uh, went out to Point Pleasant, New Jersey to take a Father's Day sea bass charter with On Point Charters. And let me tell you, Point Pleasant um, just looked like a first world kind of beach town. Not like what we have here in Brooklyn. So I was a little bit um, in shock. We all were culture shock, uh, envious, jealous, bitter. You get the idea. But anyway, let's leave all that behind and get to the fishing. All right, who's getting the first fish? Come on, pergola. up. Oh, nice. You want me to move this rod? Nobody's fishing this one, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Please, thank you. Dude, that looks good. It's a light rod, right? I like the sound of that, though. Tog. Tog. And we got a toggy. Toggy, toggy. Whoa. Come on, Tog. As good as the last one or no? Ah. He, looks, he looks almost there. The first part of our morning, we um, were mostly using bait. Clams on a high-low rig, about six ounces of lead to get down 60 to 75 feet. Uh, and we are weeding through shorts and getting the occasional keeper. I can't see what it is from here, but probably about 450, even, even higher. Oh, yeah, That's what it is. easily, right? The, Tierra, the new Tierras are ridiculous. The new Pursuits, whatever the hell they are. Right, take a this looks like a better one. Freddie. Freddie's trying to sell it. Well, somebody bought an outrageously nice boat. It's a contender. It's a 44. Oh. First one ever built, and he's got four 425s on it. It's not a bad one. I like them on this side. Pat then gets a knucklehead double header, but neglects to tell the guy who's filming. <laughs> yeah, man. A New York keeper. Hey, just the thing. This way in New York, right there, you two thirds to your lover. <laughs> Meanwhile, I keep fishing and weeding through shorts. That felt decent, but you know, you never can tell. Damn sea bass. <laughs> Notice how Kevin the mate is always on top of the action, uh, unhooking our fish, getting uh, unused fishing rods out of the way. We're never short of bait. Um, everything is just on point, as On Point Charter's name suggests. Okay, you got See, you screwed me up. Now I gotta find you all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. That's all right. You know why you caught that fish, right? It's got uh, my blood on the hook. That's right. It smelled pat. <laughs> Uh, 
pleasure of the measure? Who knows? I'm not measuring. Probably like 10 inches. 10 inches? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what we're about to do. Yeah. <laughs> It's the, than I thought. it's the girth. Jokes aside, we grind towards a limit. We get up to 80 sea bass, which is incredible. Um, and we do that in about two and a half, three hours. A lot of the credit goes to the mate who gave us great advice. And of course, to the captain. This is him, uh, Captain Alex. He put us on fish. He told us what to expect at each site or wreck or piece of structure that we were fishing um, and he was not shy about burning up um, expensive fuel to either make adjustments to how we were drifting or um, shoot us from one piece of structure to another when the bite slowed. After limiting out on sea bass we go after some fluke According to uh, Captain Alex, it's a little early in the season, uh, but, but we give it a shot. Um, I go with a high-low rig for my teaser. It's a quarter-ounce Pawpaw's jig, jig head, uh, swing tail, basically, and meant for fresh water, but works great as a teaser. Um, and then for my main uh, bucktail or jig at the bottom, I use a one-and-a-half or two-ounce um, ball jig from my buddy uh, Kevin of hog candy jigs. Straightforward uh, fluke approach here. Cast it out, let it sink to the bottom, and then work it with a lot of action back to the boat, staying close to the bottom. Oh, G-Man! Bottom? Yep. Felt good. Delicious looking fluke. You know what? You don't do that. Good, good hook set. There he is. I mean, he's gonna ask. Sea <sighs> Robin of the century! Last one. I don't know what it is though. Yeah, I'm not so good. I don't want to play for the order. 
Oh man, he's digging. It's not clear what it is. I don't know what it is though. It's got some head shakes. It's like he got a pressure on. Oh, 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 I don't know. Oh, Is that a keeper? Yeah, we're going for them. Oh, nice, Keith. Woo! I think he's well over the keeper. He's like 21 inches. Yeah, 21 inches. Woo! Woo! Thank God. What do you hit on? Well, come on. Papa's jig. <laughs> White side for the bigger. Sweet. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you. It was a great day of catching. Um, we really filled the refrigerator with a lot of fillets. I took some sea bass and fluke home uh, to cook whole, uh, you know, Asian style. The only piece of adversity we faced that day, Pat, for some insane reason, brought flavored beer. And this is how that went. Orange oh, cream beer. Oh. Yep, you, know. you want this? Aaron. Do you want this orange cream beer? What the fuck are you thinking? What the fuck are you No, it's not good. You want this? Cheers. This is the good stuff. Some of beer. I'll give you one of mine later. Cheers. Some of beer. Yeah, it tastes like my child melted a popsicle in a can and gave it to me. It's Father's Day. This is what first world beach going looks like. Jamaica Bay with its sewage treatment plants. All the jet fuel from KFK. I mean, look at this jetty. There's a woman in a bikini on the jetty. She waved at me.